Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're back with another speed build video of a bio zoo. And the next animal was actually supposed to be the white rhino or the fennec fox, uh, but we're going to make an African penguin habitat instead already. Because on my Facebook page, Zach, who is a lovely community member, sent me a message about the Penguin Cove in Maryland Zoo. And when I looked that up, I was so excited. I right away started building the day after and I have been building like a long time on this project. And I'm super excited to finally be able to share this with you guys. So the whole project probably took me around eight hours or so. So it's definitely one of my bigger projects I have ever done so far. This time is also included uh, with the time that I created webcam footage and billboard pictures, but I will talk about that a little bit later during this video. So stay tuned for that. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be a recreation of the habitat. It's definitely going to be a lot of inspired of the habitat. But for example, one of the differences is that the building is not on the middle, so not on like an island. So there won't be like water surrounding the whole building. I'm definitely using different materials and stuff because I want it to be more in the same style of the zoo that we're going for. And to be honest, the style of the real life habitat doesn't really match that theme. So I did change like the, the materials and stuff to make it fit in more in Abuya Zoo, in my opinion. So the first thing my friend Rudy Rankimel said when I showed him screenshots of this build was like, oh my god, it's so big. Well, that's really correct because uh, if I'm correct, the Penguin Cove in Maryland Zoo has one of the biggest penguin habitats in the world. So it's totally making sense that this habitat is big as well, obviously. Now, planning out the habitat was pretty hard because you also don't want it to be too big or too small. So you really want it to be on the right scale for your guests. So uh, yeah, it was kind of hard to 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 get that scale right. And hopefully I did do a good job on that. But I'm curious how you guys feel about that, to be honest. So on the left side, there will be an education center with an underwater viewing. And yes, guys, this will be a real education center for a change. My very first education center I am building ever in Planet Zoo, to be correct. So I will talk about that a little bit more on later during this video. But yeah, I it, that is also one of the reasons why it took me that long because I, I had to put in the effort, you know what I mean? <laughs> so as you can maybe tell with this second habitat of Abuya Zoo, I am playing already a little bit with different height elevations. So every habitat will be either a little bit sunken into the ground or it will be raised a little bit in the future. Uh, just to make things all look a little bit more interesting instead of everything being completely flat. So I do really like that change. We're obviously going to play around a little bit more with that in the future with like higher and, and lower uh, or bigger different type of terrain elevations. But for now, we're going to take it easy. So nothing really spectacular, but just so you can have like these slight inclines uh, with your path, etc. So in real life, the fences on the path uh, are more looking like bamboo with a lot of rope in between. Now, I did find a rope a little bit too thick to create fences out of it, uh, but the new mesh fences are definitely perfect for these fences as well. Like, obviously, they're from steel and not from rope, but I don't really mind. I think this definitely looks really nice and it's definitely a great way of using these new mesh fences that we got in the free update so everyone should be having these mesh fences but obviously the bamboo is from the south america pack so don't get confused about that and underneath the path we close it off with some concrete walls and i do think that that looks uh, a lot better to just uh, hide away the ugly terrain and stuff so i think that definitely works well so after that, we start working on the little building in the middle of the habitat. This building will be their indoor habitat and guests will be able to look inside from the keeper's gate since I used a glass keeper's gate for it, which I think looks really cool from the guest point of view. I also added that one in the cinematic shot in the end of this video, but I'm also definitely 
going to do a little tour of this habitat. So this video is going to be super long, but hopefully you guys will enjoy. I'm not really sure if I'm able to talk throughout the whole video with this speed build, but I'm going to do my best for that. So the indoor area will have a lot of windows on different sides of the building. So a lot of natural light will come into this building. The area will have two different elevations because I really wanted to have the keeper's gate on the same level as the gas path. So it did raise one area a little bit uh, and on the lower area there will be like this little indoor pool for whenever the uh, outdoor habitat will be closed for maintenance for, for a bit or anything like that. And the indoor of this habitat is not inspired by real life because I really have no idea how this is actually looking in real life. But I'm very proud of this indoor section for sure. You can really tell that all these zoo tours that we are doing lately or recently that they are really helping me to get more inspirations for my own habitat. So I'm actually super excited about this. I'm very thankful that we're doing these uh, zoo tours now on the channel as well, because I can really tell that they are helping me with those small little things like the indoor sections or the education center in the latest stage. Oh, it's definitely helping. So thank you guys so, so much for providing me your amazing zoos so I can check them out on the channel and get inspiration out of that. And I can only hope that this is also working for you guys as well, that you feel the exact same as I do, like being more in it, more creative and more inspired by things because you're seeing how other people are doing it. And I think that's just working super well for me and hopefully for you as well. So around the outdoor habitat, there will be some little islands, either from terrain or from the aquatic rocks, where the pingings can walk or play and rest and I actually wanted to add one more island as well on the other side uh, but because of the path that are so close to the water I would have to remove all the path in order to be able to put back the water you know that issue you can sometimes have if you're not able to put back your water when you remove it that's because of your path sometimes that are just too low and too close to your water it's super annoying but yeah since I already uh, placed like a lot of the fences and like putting back your path exactly on the right spot is just super hard. So I was like, hell no, I'm just not going to do it. So yeah, there's one area in the habitat that might could use a little more island in between. But I uh, no, I'm just not going to do it uh, unless I could do it with aquatic rocks. But I already did on one side and I was like, you know, I'm not going to add another one. I want to do it with sand or not. You know what I mean? So most of these islands are, as I said, made out of aquatic rocks or are decorated with a lot of the aquatic rocks and some of the African logs that really adds that little small detail that you sometimes need for your habitat. Someone also tipped that uh, for me for the meerkats habitat. So I also did use a few of those African logs as well to decorate that habitat a little tiny bit more with some African logs because I, I think that's just a great idea. It definitely works super well to decorate your habitat with it. If you don't use them too much, they won't be hurting the traversable area too much. So I think that's just great. Although I do have to say I did use them a little bit more often in this penguin habitat. Also because sometimes there was this traversable area and it looks really odd. So I actually tried to close it off with some... Uh, upstanding African pillars to uh, to hurt their traversable area for a change because it just looks really odd if they were walking at certain areas. And I also did add a little bit of the African grass here and there for a little bit more green detailing, but not too much though. This habitat is definitely with less trees and bushes. The most trees and bushes are definitely from the outside of the habitat, just surrounding the habitat. This is definitely more of a um, I'm not really sure if you can call it coastal habitat, but I think so, yeah. So there's not that much green going on inside of the habitat. So in front of the building, there will be this little ramp going down into the water. This definitely comes from the real life habitat as well. I really love how this is looking, both in the real life and also with this habitat. The only downside is that sometimes the penguins already go in their swimming animations when they are still on top of that ramp if that makes any sense it looks a little bit odd but okay we're just uh, gonna pretend that is not the case but it just looks really nice so i'm very happy with how that is looking and i also added this big feeding plate and i hide it mostly with some aquatic rocks so the penguins 
Uh, but most of all, their chicks are able to be fed there because, well, we also had an underwater feeder at the underwater viewing. But at the moment, they are causing probably crashes and freezes in your game. So if you are having issues with your game freezing all the time or crashing and you do have an underwater feeder, try removing that one and uh, hopefully Frontier will be fixing that very soon. Uh, but yeah, so I had to remove the underwater feeder for now and it's also not working. So I, I had it and I was checking it, it was filled, but there were no fish coming out of it. So it's, it's just completely broken to be completely honest. So yeah, the only thing you can do is just delete it because while well, crashing and freezing your game is definitely a pain in the butt. So definitely remove that underwater feeder if you have that one and if you're having issues and keep an eye out for Frontier if they are updating those underwater feeders so they're not causing any issues anymore in the future. So then it was time to finally work on my very first education center. Now this education center will have two different layers. One for the underwater viewing to look on the water obviously and see the lovely African penguins swim and one layer which will also look more into the habitat itself from this side. And of course, in the upper layer, there will be uh, the educational center. And there will also be one doorway, of course, for the guests to enter the building. And this actually looks a little bit like an airlock. Not that it's really needed for this area, but I just really like to add a doorway like this. So we have some beautiful glass doors going into this educational center. So yeah, then it was time for me to make signs and stuff. So I first started with a big education sign in the middle of the building. This one includes one of Ricey's amazing fonts you can download from the workshop. They are really absolutely amazing. And the in-game fonts are just too big. So if you're looking for smaller fonts, definitely go and find Ricey's fonts in the workshop. And other than that, I used a lot of the different billboards, like the smallest one, the small TV ones. Uh, which I will later fill with a lot of my own screenshots that I made in the habitat of the lovely penguins. There will also be a section on the educational sign for webcams. Yay, finally webcams. So in the end, I added six webcams throughout this whole habitat. So there are six different billboards where I added short little videos as if it seems like you are looking uh, at the webcams in your habitat. So I do really really love that and i'm actually very proud of it even though it's just putting down some webcams recording it and putting it but still it just looks super super cool so i will definitely share all the billboards that i've made all the educational signs i've made and the webcam videos i've made all in my discord server so you can find that link in the description down below uh, for everyone to be able to use yourself but do keep in mind i'm not uploading this habitat so yeah you will have webcam footage without the habitat but some people just don't mind that so you can uh, you, you can just use them if you want to i will uh, put them all in my discord server so the educational signs may still look a little bit simple but i'm actually very proud of it and how they are looking if i say so myself and when the bigger sign was finished i used a bit of the inspiration from the real life habitat because i saw that they had like these little signs on the railings of the path uh, so that was how I came up with the idea to create something similar like that with more billboards uh, and penguin pictures, of course, to educate the guests about the penguins and enrichment items and food, etc. So the walls of the education center are covered with the little towels we got in the new Africa pack. They fit really well with the African penguin sign that comes in the same, same type of little towel. So that really matches super well and I'm actually very happy how that has turned out. At the end, I do have to say that I was sharing those screenshots with Rudy Rankemel and I realized that the ceiling was very high still of the educational center. And I was like, you know what? I actually just need to lower it down. And he came with a cool little tip of how to do my lighting. Um, I'm not really sure if I <laughs> did it correctly, but yeah, well, you will see that at the end of this video, how I did like implement some lights into some layers that are coming down from the ceiling and also the ceiling is lowered itself. I have no idea how to even explain it, but yeah, I will show that in the end of this video for you guys <laughs> so you know what I did exactly here. And the last thing I did was obviously decorating the interior of the indoor habitat for the penguins and I did use the new steel mesh fences with like this little beam around it 
uh, for this to divide the area in different sections and uh, making it look like doors are slightly open so the penguins can go from one section to the other section and everything is of course uh, uh, covered with some hay bendings and stuff and this will basically look like that keepers will be able to close these little gates if they need to uh, do some maintenance or anything or like separate some penguins or whatever they have to do. Uh, so yeah, I do think that the interior looks pretty cool. It definitely looks really awesome also from the um, webcam point of view. So I'm actually really excited how uh, how the interior is looking, even though it's, it's still probably very simple. I think this definitely comes closer to how things would look realistically. So yeah, I'm actually really happy with, uh, with the end result of both the education center and the outdoor habitat, the underwater viewing, and of course the indoor section of the habitat itself. So yeah, I'm obviously not able to talk like for 30 minutes in this speed build video, but you can, uh, you can watch it if you enjoy this speed build. Definitely go and keep watching it. If you want me to show you around in the zoo, you can just go to the description down below and click on the timestamp to go right away to the tour of the habitat. So it's very easy for you. You don't have to scroll. You just click that little timestamp and you go right away to the end of this video. Anyways, whatever you do, see you at the end of this video to show you guys around.
So here we are at our African penguin habitat inspired of Maryland Zoo. And uh, this is definitely one of my most favorite viewings over here. I don't know. I just really, really love it. It looks so good. And it's obviously super busy right now, but that is because we don't have extra paths. There is definitely going to be a, a path around this and uh, this will be like some some kind of main path. And this is obviously only for the people that are going to look at the penguins in a later stage. But yeah, this is the only path. So obviously it's a lot busier at this point. Hello. But it looks so cool. I am really happy. Like. Okay, this waterfall I actually forgot to talk about. They have like this really cool system right over here with like tanks and a lot of structures and stuff. And uh, then you have like, um, I don't know, it's, it's going on a time or anything. And then you have like these waterfalls going into the habitat. It all looks super cool. And I think if I had like these um, timers like we had in Planet Coaster where you can time V of X's. I maybe would have made something like that, but I I was like, no, I, I don't mind to not do it. Oh my god, you're making noise. Playing with the bubbles here. Oh, that's so cute. Look at it. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I am uh, I'm really happy with how this habitat has turned out. We have the different islands right over here. And as I said, like in the in the speed build, I actually wanted to have a little bit of sand right over here. But then you have to remove your path and then uh, because else you cannot put back the water and those kind of issues. So, yeah, I was like, no, I'm not going to do it because then I will have some issues in a later stage with uh, putting back the path exactly where you want it to be. There is fish here. Uh, it's stuck here forever. No one is eating it, uh, unless you are going to eat it right now. But other than that, I have never seen anyone eating it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think uh, this definitely looks really cool. I Unfortunately, they're not really using this anyways. They're not really using this here. So I do hope that maybe with some other enrichment items, we can get them a little bit more to this area as well. That would be super cool, uh, at least in my opinion. But yeah, as you can hear, there is some. there are some speakers here. There are some speakers for uh, for music and for beach noises. So I do really like that. I think this is definitely... I can't hear the beach sounds. No, I can't hear them. I don't know, maybe they're broken. <laughs> But like, I think this viewing definitely like super cool. I love how this is looking, that ramp going into the water. Not really sure if we can see them going uh, going in the water like this, but I do really like that. And then we have this little island right over here. There's also a webcam right over here. And there is also a webcam right over here in this little corner. Then we have one on the water viewing webcam and two or three inside of this building. So let's go a little bit around it. I think uh, it's, it takes more time, but I think definitely making windows and it's so much easier with all the different plaster pieces that you have, but making your own windows is, is just giving your, your building so much, I don't know, depth and, and it just looks amazing. Uh, so yeah, this is the doorway. You can look into the habitat from over here as a guest. I think that's just really cool. I was actually by accident. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to use this glass door. And then I was like, oh wait, that's actually really cool for the guests to also look inside of this uh, this building because there is no other way where you are able to uh, to look inside of the building. Obviously, most windows are just for light coming in. Uh, so then we go to the educational center right over here. So I use these statues just to make it a little bit more interesting and. Uh, Let's go inside right over here. Obviously, we go through these doors. Look at all these signs. I think it looks just super cool. As I said, I'm going to uh, upload all of these billboards uh, through my, uh, my YouTube <laughs> Discord server. So there will be uh, one specific chat room where I upload everything that I use myself for my zoos. Um, as backgrounds or as billboards, educational signs and those kind of things. So uh, yeah, uh, but these are the educational signs and I think they look absolutely amazing. So this is the one I made myself and these are the webcams. Just look at it. Uh, you can actually see it work. It works. <laughs> well, it works 
because I added these videos. So it's not like you can just connect your webcam with it. Uh, but yeah, I think it just really looks amazing. Uh, yeah, I just really love it. It brings in that little extra detail. These are the indoor webcams. I really do like it. It's really, it really feels like if you are looking into the habitat. This is also a new educational sign. I will also put that one up in a Discord, as well as all these um, these extra pictures right over here. So you can see uh, something about food here, about enrichment items, and uh, just we pretend, of course, that all this information is there. And uh, yeah, right over here, we also have some billboards. I did not, I think I made 12 different screenshots, two different educational signs and six webcam videos. So you can all use these one um, yourself if you want to. I did copy paste those uh, two here, of course, just to make sure that we have some more information right over here as well. And we have this animal talking point. Now, if you have seen my... Uh, community wall post. I did post a video of just, just Goran of how you can put those underneath the ground, but you need to do that first before you start working your way uh, and building your habitat. So I keep forgetting that, which is kind of pity. And the same goes for this uh, Vista point. I do think that Vista points are definitely helping with getting your guests to uh, towards this area. I'm not really sure what you guys are doing. Looks like dancing or something. Um, so uh, yeah, I had two way too many people only one is enough i actually want to hide it but there's just no way these are all raised paths so i can't really hide it here so that is a uh, kind of a pity i did put it uh in this corner first but then people started doing weird things on the uh the path yeah this isn't this has been an issue ever since planet coaster and i remember that it happened uh it ha what it got worse when we got vista points i think think that was but yeah that's just a little bit frustrating like they're not using the path like they should and i just don't know what to do with it i really want my curbs and barriers those were just amazing so yeah oh yeah about the ceiling so these are these um how are they called uh hanging lamps uh on the side and then just some plaster pieces right over here. It actually looks pretty, pretty decent. So I lowered the ceiling and then added those things as lights. That was the idea of Rudy Rankamo. And if it's nighttime, it looks pretty cool. It's not perfect. It's not like super amazing, but I think it definitely uh, has something and it looks really nice. So I actually had some wall lights here, but I removed those. Just because we had this. Look how busy it becomes here. It's insane. That is really, really nice. So yeah, I'm really happy with this habitat. Let me just change the light a little bit. I can't stand it. Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm really happy with this habitat. It took me really a long time. If I would have gone for the waterfall and, and everything around it, then it, was, it would have taken a lot longer, I think. But I think this is already just uh, looking very cool. I'm very excited about this one. I do hope you guys like it and that I, that I can inspire you with the, the things and how I did things uh, in comparison to Maryland Zoo, in comparison to the real life zoo. Hopefully it can inspire you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know in the comments down below, of course. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to see more Planet Zoo content, I definitely have you covered on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!